Hello everyone, it's Beetle Jape and welcome back to a Star Stable video. So today I've got something really exciting to show you guys. I'm a little bit late in the train, but um, what I am showing you guys is the new quarter horses that have arrived at Starshine Ranch and also Fort Pinter. And I am so excited about this because I saw the video for the new quarter horses and I was just like, wow, they look incredible. Um, there's actually one right in the background right now um, and yeah I couldn't check it out straight away but now I can and I am so so excited about this and actually this is going to be a glow up video as well because I do have a quarter horse right now Silver Hope um, and as you can see she's only level two I didn't really ride her very much and again that was because I got her around the time where a lot of the newer um, breeds with better better animations were coming out and I definitely favored riding them more so that's why I really want to get the updated version of Silver Hope today and I know that the Palomino is in Fort Pinta but I do want to have a look at all of the quarter horses straight up so we can just compare see what they look like um, and there's about yeah so there's four right now um, but Star State will be will be releasing the other four in the future so that's what they usually do they'll have a sort of um, staggered release of all of the horses so it's actually really cool that we have four actually because they usually do three so this is the red roan one i believe and i absolutely love the style of the mane and it's just so it's so unique like everything about this horse is definitely completely new so star stable is trying to do things that really make this horse stand out and they absolutely do i really love how they look i personally know nothing about quarter horses specifically i i grew up not really being around horses very much so my knowledge about the breeds are very is very very limited but what i can do is i can just read <laughs> this little breed profile and give you guys an understanding of what the American Quarter Horse is. So let's just go and jump right into that. At the forefront of the American Frontier is a faithful companion who has played an instrumental role in shaping the rich culture and untamed spirit of historical North America. Sturdy yet agile, swift yet tranquil, this is the American Quarter Horse. The American Quarter Horse originated from early colonists breeding their English stallions with the indigenous Chickasaw people's mares. Both horses can be traced back to the fiery barb horse, the mounts of early Spanish explorers. They fell upon the American Quarter Horse during the 19th century when they gained a reputation in Texas for their racing capabilities and skill for driving cattle. One famous American Quarter Horse, called Steel Dust, established fame for his unmatched skill as a quarter mile match racer. Steel Dust's descendants were highly sought after by cowboys due to their speed and agility. Horses of this nature were often nicknamed Steel Dusts. Through it all, the tough as nails American Quarter Horse endured the hardest of times on the unforgiving American frontier, helping cowboys and ranchers make a home in the unforgiving Wild West. The American Quarter Horse has a stocky silhouette defined by their dense muscle structure. Despite their powerful frame, they excel at sprinting short distances and are remarkably sure-footed. Today, the robust American Quarter Horse remains an integral part of North American culture, featuring in rodeos, western pleasure, racing and more. If you're looking for a trustworthy companion that captures the zeitgeist of the Wild West, you'll find a dear friend in the American Quarter Horse. Come rain or shine, the American Quarter Horse is a partner for life. That's actually a really sweet description. It kind of hones down that the Quarter Horse is a really good horse for competition, but it's also a really good friend to have, basically. I'm I'm just going to look up the word zeitgeist. I've never heard of that before. Oh, okay. So this is the defining spirit or mood of a particular period of history as shown by the ideas and beliefs of this time. Okay, I think, yeah, yeah, I get it. No, that makes sense. So we're currently looking, as I said before, the red roan is very, very cute. I love the, the coat. I love that sort of gradient from that pale, pale pink to this more of like the reddish orange for the limbs and the head. I think that's really, really cool. And we've got a bay quarter horse, which I personally love a lot. I have this thing for bay and chestnut horses. I find them like the cutest horses actually. So seeing this one, I'm like, wow, this one is adorable. So I don't know, maybe I'll get another quarter horse in the future. I am going to get the Palomino regardless, um, but I do have my eye on the bay for maybe the future. 
This is the black with some white markings. So we've got some stockings and then we've got this blaze. This one's really cute and it's got a it's got blue eye as well. Oh I, I got it at a really dopey moment, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but as you can see, you got that blue eye, which is really cool. I'm so sorry. I really kind of made you look a bit just a bit out of it. But a very, very cute horse. Oh, does she like my horse? Hi. I'm gonna say thanks. <laughs> well, now that we've checked out those horses, I am going to be going to Fort Pinta to check out the Palomino, which is the one that I'm going to get, and I'm really, really excited about that. Um, ever since yeah just knowing that the new quarter horses are coming out i was like i am so ready to get this new new quarter horse i'm just like oh. can't describe the feeling it's so good i like how the necks are a bit lower as well i found that a very interesting design choice um because yeah i like i mean I, i've never ridden a quarter horse before in my life so i wouldn't know but I think that actually adds to the uniqueness of this breed overall because it just looks so different to the other breeds that have already been out. And I really like how that's the case because it makes it stand out. And I know that Star Stable put in a whole heap of effort for this particular breed because it was one of the most highly requested breeds out there. And I guess the old version just didn't really give it justice. So seeing it being made into this new breed is just fantastic and I love the design of it they did a really good job and I'm super excited to see the other coat colors that come out eventually too so as you can tell by the oh I got stuck just wait oh this is bad it's like reversing a car just a moment <laughs> I keep on getting stuck okay oh no someone's there okay I'm so sorry I just want to get it like just a better view of the two of you together Will you lift your head up? Okay, never mind. Okay, well you can see that the current quarter horse I'm riding, the older one, she's a much of a paler Palomino compared to the other one, the new one, which is more of like a golden Palomino. And I personally like the golden style a little bit more. I prefer them a little bit darker. Like I find the lighter Palominos look a bit more washed out. Um, but overall, Palomino is a really pretty colour anyway, so I'm not really complaining too much. And also, I feel like check out this muscle. <laughs> it's crazy how much detail they've put into this horse. Like, I'm just appreciating that right now. It's incredible. Alright, so here it is. We are getting the new and improved Silver Hope. And this is really special because I think the new quarter horse has really change the game in terms of the horse breeds because it just is what people were expecting and actually more in some cases because it is so different to the old version and they took it to their heart they were like we're going to make it better and they did so that's why i'm really impressed with this horse and i actually haven't even bought it yet so <laughs> i'm saying all these good things but yeah i gotta ride it first and i am going to call her silver hope as well dark effect is actually a really cool name Maybe in the future, who knows? We got our new horse, we have Silver Hope. This is so exciting. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, well, let me just get her all tacked up and ready to go and then we can check out her unique gates that she's got. Well, not gates, unique moves, I should call it. I've tacked her up and I'm like stuck in the stall. <laughs> all right, we need to get out. Oh, come on. Whoa, okay, so the backing up actually is one of the special features of the quarter horse. And I just checked that out as I was trying to get out of my stall. Look at that. That's really cool. The head's so low. It's just like, it's so much lower than I'm used to. Oh, I absolutely love their gates. It's so smooth.
Okay, and then they've got this awesome move here. That is amazing. What I want to do is I do want to check out her um, racing, so like doing one of the races in Starshine Ratch. I think that'll be pretty cool because that's just her and her element then. Let's go Silver Hope, let's see how she goes. Yeah, I'm just like, like I'm not used to her head being so low. It's just so different. It's like it's not bad or anything, I'm just like, wow. Ah. So cool, interesting feature for the quarter horse. Oh, I'm so bad at this one. I want to be better at this, but I'm just not. Oh no, <laughs> I was doing all right. Oh, I had to, I had to knock it over the moment I just went back up again. Did I miss it? Are you serious? So that certainly wasn't my best run. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck on the bale. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of time. Ah, oh, we made it. It's okay. Oh my gosh, we're still in it. Best time ever, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, why are there sheep? So that was probably not our best run. <laughs> we still got 300 XP from it, that's not bad. I also forgot to check, um, forgot to say I should say, um, they've got a really cool fast stop. Like, that's so cool. Definitely the most effort has been put into this horse by far. Like, the Andalusian was really up there in terms of quality and how they really decided to up the ante with updating their models. And the quarter horse just came out there with just as good of an update, I think. I think they did a really fantastic job of doing this breed justice, I guess, because it is a beautiful breed. And the old one just didn't really showcase what a quarter horse is. So I think Star Sable did a pretty good job on their newer models. And I am really excited to see them update the older models specifically over them actually producing new horse breeds. Because I know that as the game progresses, the older models just fit less and less with the whole, like, the whole style of the game. To see them making these new models come out um, is really beautiful. Um, to see them being updated, it's just so fun to really be able to enjoy riding these horses with the same sort of passion as you once did when the game was really old and outdated looking. So I'm really glad that they're kind of stepping up and updating these old breeds because they really do deserve it. Um, people absolutely love these breeds and I don't know, I'm not really sure which one I personally want to update. Um, I really wanted the Andalusian to be updated, which they did do, and I'm really excited about that. Um, actually I think the pain horse, the pain horse would be fantastic if they could do an update of that and make it, I guess they are somewhat similar in style to a quarter horse, but still making it different would be really awesome as well. Oh yes, and updating the shires, that is something that I am really keen for because I bought a shire a long time ago in this game and I didn't keep it in the end because I just didn't. I didn't like it very much and I liked the idea of a Shire because it was such a big horse and I was like, oh, that's really cool. Um, but then, yeah, it, I just didn't fly with me and I, I ended up not keeping it for very long. <laughs> so to see these horse breeds being updated is really fun and I'm looking forward to the next one that's going to come out. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this update slash glow up slash new horse video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.